Hi, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today I'm going to be working a problem from hydraulics. The question states, find the wetted perimeter for the channel shown. So the question is asking what the wetted perimeter is. So what is the wetted perimeter? The wetted perimeter is the length of the line representing the interface between the fluid and the channel. So in this case, it is this length right in here. This plus this plus this. That will give you your wetted perimeter. So how are we going to do that? First thing we're going to do is solve for this triangle so we can get the length from here to here because all we need to do is add that length plus 10 plus the other side and that should give us the wetted perimeter. I'll also show you another equation that you can use. So using a little trig here I'm drawing out this triangle right here and you know that this is 8 feet deep because the slope on this is 3 horizontal to 1 vertical you have basically eight units vertical and for every one unit that you go up you're going three over so in this case we've gone up eight units so what's eight times eight times three is 24 so really this length here is 24 feet so now all we need to do is solve for that dimension x which you just use the Pythagorean theorem for so you got 8 squared plus 24 squared equals x squared and x is going to equal the square root of 8 squared plus 24 squared which gives you 25.298.298 and that is that distance so all you need to do is take 25 this is what your wetted perimeter is going to be. I'm going to call it S. 25.298 times 2, since there's two side slopes, plus 10 feet. And that gives me 60.59 feet. And that is answer B. The other way to solve this, if you have a good textbook that has equations for wetted perimeters for different shapes, you can use the equation B plus 2D square root 1 plus M squared, where M equals 3. It's the slope, the, the horizontal dimension. B is your base, B equals 10 feet, and D is the depth of 8 feet. Anyway, you plug in those numbers and you will get the same answer. So, this is a good equation to actually write in to your reference manual. Most people are going to be using the Civil Engineering Reference Manual, and I'd recommend writing that equation in. So hopefully this helps you. We'll be solving more problems. Please check out civilengineeringacademy.com for more tips and tricks, practice exams, and other information on passing the PE exam. Thanks.